All right, so here's a hard official table analysis question. Let's understand everything that's given to us first, then we'll see what is asked. So here we are talking about this person, Lauren, who wants to assemble a collection of books and her interest is in fish themed titles. Now, how will she assemble? By shopping at her local bookstore. So what she did was she went to the website of this bookstore and she searched for the keyword fish because that's the type of books she wants. Now, the search returned only the results shown in the table. So this is exactly what she found on the bookshelf. Now, what are all of the things that we have here? A quick glance. It's the title of the book. It's the author, the format. Okay, paperback, new, used, the section, whether it's a literature, cooking, outdoors, what type it is. Copies in stock seems like how many copies I have. We'll read further. And then the price of the book. The titles are self-explanatory. You can tell what these things are. So from the copies in stock included in search results, Laura purchased a set of books consisting of five books. So she actually bought five books with distinct titles. Okay, that's one piece of information for me from four different sections. That's another piece. So I bought five books and they, they, these are two characteristics that my books had. First, they all had distinct titles, titles coming from here. Second, they came from four different sections. So five books from four sections. Okay. The total price she paid was the lowest possible for such a set. Okay, this is then third condition for the books that Lauren selected. That the five books she selected for the combination, for this such set of books means what? Something which does have distinct titles and is from four sections. If you create such a set, then she chose the ones for which the total price she paid was the lowest possible. Okay, so we will see just a quick glance at what the question is asking and then we'll come back. It is giving me some titles and it is saying for each of the following titles, select yes if it must have been a part of her purchase. And then I see some titles here. Okay, so I really need to understand this and see which books she is going to purchase based on the conditions she has. Let's actually go into Excel and solve this where I can really use my data well, I can interact with it because I want lowest price, I should be able to sort and everything. So let's go there. And here we are. So I know my basic conditions. I am going to buy five books. I'm going to buy five different titles for that. The titles should be different and it's going to be from four sections. And I know it's the lowest price overall. So let me just start thinking about these things one by one. If you look at your column for the titles, then I can see I have saving fish from drowning in two of the titles. Then I have fish here as a common title in two of the books. All of the others are anyway unique. So if I have to choose five titles, do I already have a short choice? No. I mean, I could choose this as one, then two, three, four, and five. But then I could very well have chosen one from these last two also. So if I start from titles, I will not have a sure answer as to what I'm doing. Next, if I think about sections, then how many sections do I even have? I'll just quickly sort this so that all of a single type come together. So I have a children's section, then I have cooking, then I have literature, outdoors and science. Okay, so that means I have a total of five sections, but I have to choose four out of them. At this point, I don't know how to make that choice. Then there is nothing about copies in stock. But then price is what my key concern is, right? Lauren purchased these five books in a way that the ones she got were the lowest price books. So what if we start by sorting the price column only and just see which the cheapest books are and start picking them in a way that the other two conditions are also met. If you found the analysis of this data set helpful, then hit that like button so that other GMAT aspirants can also learn from it. And to stay tuned with such content, hit the subscribe button below. Now, to take your learning to the next level, we have put together a free trial in which you can experience content in all the sections tested on GMAT Focus Edition. For example, you can build your CR pre-thinking skills, you can learn how to approach statistics questions in graphics interpretation as part of DI, you can learn everything about linear inequalities as tested on the GMAT Focus Edition and a lot of other content. The link for this is in the description. Now, let's get back to the question at hand. So I'm starting with this, the lowest price thing. And accordingly, I will see, I'll keep picking books one by one so that my other conditions are met. Let's see. So after sorting, what I see is that the cheapest book is this 2.63. I'll definitely pick this because there is no restriction on the first book I'm picking, right? I have taken a specific title. I have taken one specific section, literature, and I have the lowest price till now. Now, this is my first book. I'll number this one. 
Now, what about my second book? I can take 2.98 or no, that's my whole thing. So if I take 2.98, it is a new section. So no problem. Anyway, I'm allowed to take four sections and it is a new title also. So there is nothing till now, which is creating any problems for me. So I will choose this second book as well. Let's just highlight this in a different color. So one more title done, one more section done and price I have taken care of. And let's also keep, you know, documenting how many of these we have exhausted. Remember, there were five titles. I've taken one title and now one more. Two titles already used up and four sections I had to take and I have already taken one and two, two sections. Now let's see the next book. So look at this 3.99 book, which is the next most expensive. It's a children's book. So I'm okay with repeating the section once. Why? Because I have a total of five sections and I need to choose four out of them. So five books, but possible sections are also five and nobody said you have to take all of them different. So one repetition is okay. That means till now I, I don't, I don't see a problem in the choice. Now though, when I see the title, is it different? Yes, it's different. Q George, yes, but goes fishing is different from at the aquarium. So no problem here as well. This is going to be my third book. And again, I will say that five titles, I've already chosen three. I'm creating these tally marks to help us count. And as for the four sections, I've only taken two sections. See how I did not take a new section when I took children's book again. Then let's think about the fifth title. Let's take another color now. So fifth title, if I take 7.98, then literature. Okay, my section repeats. If I use, think about it, if I have taken four books and two come from a single section, literature, other two come from a single section, children, which, are, which I already have done, then the fifth book, if I take something different only, then a different section, it will still be a total of three sections only which I am not okay with. That means I cannot select this as my next book. Actually, it also tells me I cannot repeat any more sections. If I've already repeated the children's section twice, then all of the others have to be distinct. Since I have five sections only in total and I want to select four out of them, I can only repeat one. So wherever else I see repetition, I will be able to reject that. Do I have any more children or literature? No. Well, anyway, that didn't happen. Now let's look at the next title. We have salmon here and it is a new section. Yes, it is cooking and the price is 9.98. Well, but I have another 9.98. This is also cooking and it's also a new title fish. So actually I am free to choose any of these two here as the next book because it is indeed bringing in a new title. The price is also good. So my fourth book can be any of these. Okay, That's interesting, but that will account for the fourth title that I'm taking here, which means one more title left and it is also the third section. So let's mark three here. One more section to go after this. Now, if one more section to go, that means I cannot repeat anything. Anyway, we know we can't repeat anything. So the next one, which is cooking here, the fish book, it's out for two reasons, actually, section and the title. What if I end up choosing fish here? But well, I could have chosen salmon. This anyway still gets rejected because of the section repetition. So this way I have talked about the fourth book I'm going to choose and I cannot choose both of them because they will repeat the section. So only one of them will be there. Now, finally, if if you think about the last book we have to pick, I have a new section as needed here. Now I have new titles in both of them. Price wise, it's the 19.95, which is better. But wait, what is this? Copy is in stock. Notice in all of the other cases, we did have a book to choose from. The copy is in stock. They were always positive. But this one, I don't even have it in stock, even if it's giving me a better price. This is also a very important column. You have to keep your eye on it. Now, next book, therefore, has to be this one, the last science book, and therefore your last title, fifth title done, fourth section done, you have your complete selection now. This I'll take back to the screen, back to our question and see what was asked. At this point, let me ask you this. Could you have arrived at the approach of solving this question with this level of clarity had you not spent the effort in thoroughly understanding the information presented? Such is the power of the process of owning the data set. And because this skill may not come naturally to many of you, we have created a course architecture that ensures that we teach you this skill through every guided quiz in the EGMAT DI course and we reinforce the same in every practice quiz. In fact, in the table analysis modules in the GITA course, we teach you how to get comfortable with the table so that you can process it in the most efficient way. We serve more than 65 specially curated questions at the right progression so that you learn various aspects of the table analysis questions, including the process skills of inference, translate and visualize. 
Thus, throughout the DI course, through around 500 questions, you will learn such process skills so that you can also comfortably use the owning the data set approach. Let's now get back to the solution at hand. Perfect, here we are. Let's again see what the question was asking. We have these titles and we want to select which one must be a part of Lauren's purchase. Now I know about all five that she's purchasing. I simply have to see my selection and I have to see these one by one. So the first title I'm checking, floating fish strategies. Let's see, floating fish strategies. No, that's not among the five that she selected and very quick to now mark the answer. It need not be a part of her selection. It will not be, in fact, based on all of our analysis. Next is this book titled Fish. Let's see. So there are two books titled Fish, as you can see here. One of them may be the selection. The other one will not be. So I'm not really sure whether a book called Fish will be in her selection. So it may or may not be. But what I'm trying to mark here is something that must have been there and so this one will be a no as well must be i don't know last is this title eels and when i see that that indeed is the fifth book that we selected here so this definitely is a part and so this is the one you mark yes for and you're done see how quick it was to finally answer the question because we had done all of this upfront analysis really really interesting question on how you're finding out exactly which books she's buying just based on this much of text it's not too much text it's not giving you too much information it's full of inferences that you make throughout you kept inferring okay this is the title this is the number of sections can i do this can i repeat a section what are the prices i'm looking at there were different things that you were looking at at the same time that that was what made this question the most interesting. You had your eye on titles, you had your eye on sections, on price, and also on copies in stock. If someone is not careful here, they would end up choosing this fish floating strategies, this book here, because it's a better price than the last one, but I don't have it in stock. So, so many different variables to take care of at the same time. But if you are careful that way, if you own the data set so, so well, then answering the question is really simple.